Okay, so we have Hannah here. Hannah, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Have you ever invested in stocks before? No. Never. So this is going to be your first time investing in anything. Mm -hmm. But by the end of this session today, you will have bought your first ever shares in a company. Now you've read the getting started guide that I've put together. So we're just going to go through some bits and see what you remember from it, if anything. <laughs> um, so do you know what shares are? Could you tell me what a share is? Can you try? Try and speak up. <laughs> what in um, money that investors um, pay to own a bit of a company? Yeah, so it's like a slice of a company. So if you can imagine the company like a big pizza. We just had a pizza, <laughs> didn't we? Your, how big was your pizza Massive. that you just had from the, sh from the restaurant? Massive. Roughly, like with your hands, how big was it? <laughs> yeah, it was enormous, wasn't it? Um... So imagine a slice of a pizza. You imagine the company is the pizza you're taking. Just to, you're going to own a slice of that, but the slice you're going to own is like so thin that you wouldn't be able to cut it. It would be tiny compared to all the shares that are out there. But you still own a slice. It's just a really thin slice. And then if you keep buying more and more shares, your slice slowly, slowly gets bigger and bigger. And if you owned all the shares, you would own the whole company basically. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So what is a shareholder? Um, someone who pays the money and owns a bit of the company. Yeah, so someone who owns one of the shares. At least one of the shares makes you a shareholder. So by the end of today, you'll be a shareholder in a company. Maybe more than one company, depending on what we do and what we, what we pick. Um, what is the board? Do you remember what that is? The board of directors. Doesn't matter if you don't. Mm. Is it like um, to keep track? Yeah, shares? pretty much. So this is the group of people that have been appointed to run the business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the best interests of the shareholders. Because... If there were millions of shareholders, can you imagine millions of people all in, in an office wanting to make decisions? It would be a chaos, wouldn't it? So you have a board of people. Where do we get shares from? Do you remember? From this guide? Um, it's a lot to take in, so I don't expect you to remember it all. Where will we go to get shares? The portfolio, yeah, kind of. So your portfolio is your list of companies that you own, oh, your yeah. list of shares. Um, but you would go to a broker, an online broker, to buy shares okay. in a company. Um, do you remember what a dividend is? Um, the money you get back. Um, mm -hmm. Like, um, to represent... Um, company thanking you yeah pretty much yeah so for putting money into a company the company will pay out sh div dividends to its shareholders usually once a year but it can be sometimes more frequent it could be every six months maybe every three months depending on the company and it's kind of pretty much like a thank you for investing your money in our business do you know what the company does with the money that you invest when you buy shares in a company what does the company probably do with that money what do you think they would do with it? Um, make the company better by mm -hmm. upgrading. Yeah, upgrading, opening more shops, uh, yeah. um, coming up with new products or services, paying their staff and bringing on more staff and just improving the business is the idea. And it's the board that decide how to spend the money usually. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So... Um, have we tackled everything? So, what we've got here is a tracking sheet. And so, this is what we're going to use to track your portfolio. So, every time you buy shares, 
we're going to record them here and this is like an example this page here is an example of what it will look like okay so this is just some example companies that you would and you put how much the shares cost what they're worth today all that kind of stuff and then if you turn that over you've got a dividend tracker on there can you see that yep so this is every time they pay you out a dividend we can record it down and you can keep track of how much you've made how much money you've made from dividends make sense this is fun yeah, yeah. cool so how do you feel about becoming an investor today Good. you want to do that yeah. are you up for it mm -hmm. okay cool so this is also we've got a chart here so every month that we sit down together, once a month, we're going to fill out this chart and it's going to be like a graph, like you do at school, oh, yeah. of how much money you've made and lost along the way, basically. So we'll do that. We won't really do that this month, but next month we'll start putting that together. All right. This is a how to use the portfolio guide, but we won't go through that because you've got me next to you. So the next step, basically, is to pick a stock. Or more than one stock and so we're gonna do that on the computer mm -hmm. um, and you're gonna have a look at the companies that I've recommended so I've already gone through a thousand companies that's what I do as a job basically is my job is to go through a thousand companies and find the best ones for long-term investing companies that are going to whose share price probably will go up over the next 10 years or so, based on a lot of different factors. And I have taken the best ones and I've put them on a list. And all you've got to do is pick which ones you want to invest your money in. You've got a hundred pounds to spend in your portfolio. So we're going to spend that now on companies. You can either buy probably two or three, or you could put it all into one. So it depends on what you find, what you look at, what you like the look of. You haven't got to worry about anything else other than just picking whatever looks like your favorite out of the list. Make okay. sense? If there are companies that you like, like really like, that aren't on the list, you can also buy them. They might not do as well, but you could still get them. So if there's any companies where you're like, do this, does this company sell shares? If they do, we can also look at them as well. All right, if they're a PLC, then we can buy shares in them. So earlier, what companies did you mention before when we were having our pizza at the restaurant? McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. So how would you feel about owning shares in McDonald's? Would you like that? Good. Yeah, you'd like that. Okay, cool. So McDonald's are a, are a company that you can buy shares in. They're American stock, but you can do it. You can buy them. So let's have a look at the... American? What's that? I didn't know it was American. Yeah, McDonald's is an American company, but they've got um, branches all over the world in almost every country, basically. But they're from America, like a lot of companies are. But not all of them. So we are going to go and look at these companies now and then we'll come back and we'll have a, a, a talk about what you've picked and what you're doing basically okay mm -hmm. cool because i like going there what, what do you do you just got all you got to do you don't have to click anything you just got to look at it and make a decision on what you'd like to buy so if you find free companies that you like the look of then we can buy uh three different businesses or if there's only one that you like we'll put all your money into one for now it's up to you basically so just have a look through and see how many there are that you really like okay so you have gone through the list of companies yeah. and you have picked one company that you like the look of Is that right yes okay are there any companies that you want to look into that aren't on the list just McDonald's. It's the only one. Any others can, you can think of? Mm. Or not yet? Not yet. Well, that's pretty good because that means that you've got one company from the list and we want to look into McDonald's. That's two companies. 
we've got 100 pounds to spend so we could split it 50 quid 50 quid couldn't we is there like any clothing companies? Clothing companies? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we could we could look into it. What clothing companies might you be thinking of? Uh, I don't. Where do you go clothes shopping normally? Normally Primark. Okay, I don't think we we'll look, but I don't think that they're a PRC. H&M, okay, we'll remember that. Anything else, that you, anywhere else you'd like to go to? Was that it? Probably jewellery. Like jewellery, yeah. Pandora. Okay, That's a good one. cool. Alright, so we've got a few ideas. So we've got a company from the list, and we're going to look at McDonald's. And we'll look at Primark, H&M and Pandora and see if they're PLCs or not. Okay, that's the plan. Let's do that. Okay, so let's look at who owns Primark. Associated British Foods, ABF. So there's a company called ABF who own Primark. Uh, they own several companies, basically, and okay. if you wanted to own shares in Primark, you could only really own shares in ABF, Associated British Foods, who <laughs> who themselves own Primark. Yeah. So then what we could do is we could go into Trading View, and we see here Associated British Foods, so we click on that, and it will give us the chart for this stock. So their shares are £22.70 right now per share. And this is what the price has done. So it's gone up, it's come down, it's kind, kind of going back up a little bit at the moment. And that's the stock price. That's what it's done since 1996. So that's the company. So no, I don't think I want to do Primark. Okay, cool. So we're not really keen on Primark. That's fair enough. So, what was the other company? Oh, you want to look at McDonald's? Let's just look at McDonald's whilst we're here. I think they're MCD. Yeah, there we go. Now, they're American. So, we click on here. McDonald's shares are $293 a share. Oh, I don't think I got that. But you might be able to do fractional shares. So, we could still look at this if you're really keen on McDonald's. You might be able to buy like a slice of a share if you wanted to so we could look at that no. okay maybe who was the other companies you like pandora was one yeah who owns pandora jewelry pandora Axel. is owned by axel who are danish did you know that no <laughs> so pandora are owned by a danish company mm. how cool um, the is currently listed on the Nasdaq Copenhagen. They are listed on the Denmark Stock Exchange. So if we wanted to buy shares in Axel, I don't know if we would be able to. Mm, this doesn't do Denmark. So no, I don't know if we can. That's fine. So Pandora is probably a no. And H&M was the other one. The Staffan Person family own H&M. <laughs> Who are they? Oh, they're private. They're Swedish people. You don't, you can't buy shares in H&M. They're owned by a Swedish person. Okay. So H&M are no good. Um, the company you've picked off the list, that's fine. But we can only do McDonald's. Is the other one or ABF? Can I check Mubu and Edamame? Because they're both bubble tea and I like bubble tea. Mubu is a United Kingdom based company owned by Eric Kaur. Kaur! 
Uh, you can't buy shares in Mubu. They okay. are a private company owned by one person. So what have we checked? We've looked for Next. Mubu because you like bubble tea. And there's a company li near us bubble. called Mubu. But unfortunately, what do we find out about Mubu? That it's private. It's a private company owned by one person. What was his name? Eric. Eric Kaur. Eric Kaur. So... Um, we can't buy shares in Mubu, unfortunately, even though you love buying their products. Or you love me buying their products for you, don't you? <laughs> um, we looked at H&M, couldn't do them. They're privately owned. Uh, you're not keen on Primark, who are owned by Associated British Foods. You had a look at that, but you decided you're not really that keen. McDonald's is an option, but it's $250 a share. We've only got £100 to share, so we need to check to see whether or not your broker allows what they call fractional shares, where you can buy a slice of one share in a company. And we can look into that and see, and then you can decide if you want to do it or not. You'd still own a share in McDonald's, it just won't be exactly one share. What um, do you think are like... Um... If we can do McDonald's, then we could definitely do 50 quid on McDonald's. If it allows us. And 50 quid on the other one. Um, Apple? Apple, yeah, that's an American share. as an American company. Again, the share price is very high. So oh. we would only be able to do that if they do fractional shares. But we'll look into that. I'm just looking at this. Netflix. Netflix. Netflix is another American stock that you might be able to buy shares in. Ooh. Yeah. WhatsApp. Hmm, WhatsApp's owned by Facebook, who is a company you could invest in as well. So there's loads of choices, but we need to see. So do you want to explore whether or not we can buy some US stocks or not? Yeah. Do you want to have a look into that? You've got one from the list that we're going to stick with because it's on the list. But maybe we'll do 50-50 and we'll put 50 quid on that stock and then 50 quid on an American stock if we can do it. Should we try that? Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's try that then. Okay, so we've chosen our two companies. Hannah's chosen one from the list and one that she's personally interested in, which was Primark, which was technically Associated British Foods, who own Primark. So she's gone from one from the watch list and one from her own choice of ABF and she's now just filling in her form. Should I put 12? Yep. And she's just putting in her details and What's we're going to follow the example shown on here. What's her county? Oh, it's East Sussex. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, because we're doing this at 10, I'm sorry, 8.45 p.m. I should say, uh, the market is closed. So we can't actually execute the trade right now. So what we've done is we've put in a order. And as soon as the market opens tomorrow, you've got something white in your hair right there. There we go. Uh, as soon as the market opens tomorrow morning, it will execute and it will do her trade for her. And so we might have to update this portfolio sheet a little bit better uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, once she's back round again. But which is tomorrow? You're right, actually. Yeah, you are back tomorrow. Um, and then once you've done it, once we once it's executed, we will be able to update her portfolio sheet to reflect the right information. And there we go. So she's just going to fill in her, her form now. And that's it. Job done. That's that done. So tomorrow morning, those will execute. And you will be the owner of a slice of Primark. How do you feel about that? You like that idea? Mm -hmm. So next time you go into Primark, you can start swanning around. And you can do whatever you want. And you can demand a discount because you're a shareholder of Primark. Can you? No. <laughs> nice. It would be fun though if you could, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. 
you still are a shareholder of Primark though, which is pretty cool. So you have your I've got a Primark voucher. You do have a Primark voucher. Yeah, so you can get you should go in and you just say, Do I get a discount for being a shareholder? They'll, they'll say no, but nice try. Um so tomorrow that will execute and you will own those shares in the morning. So next time we get together for a one-to-one, -one, which will be a month from now, we're going to sit down, we will look at your portfolio, we will buy some more shares because you'll have a little bit of extra money because every month we're going to put £10 into your pot and we're going to spend the cash you've got left in there plus the £10 and we'll buy some more shares and we'll buy more shares every single month, okay? Won't be spending a hundred quid each time. It'd be like an extra ten quid each time. But then we'll put it on your portfolio sheet each time, and we'll start doing the graph as well to see if it's gone up or down in value. Also, next month you will get your certificate, your white belt certificate, which you get for buying your first shares and becoming an investor. Which essentially, as of the morning, you will be an investor. Very cool, don't you think? Do I get it tomorrow? You, what, the certificate? No, you'll get the certificate. Well, you might get your certificate. Yeah, you might get it tomorrow because you're here tomorrow, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So maybe we could arrange that and we need to take a photo for the website of you holding your certificate. Yeah, you're willing to do that? Mm -hmm. Wicked. Cool. So that's it. We've done it. And I don't know how long that took. Probably about 10 minutes in total. But... <laughs> but that was pretty easy wasn't it would you say that was pretty easy even though we had to stop for a bit to try and find the login details would you say that was pretty easy to do mm -hmm. are you interested in buying more shares yes cool all right so My tea. let's go drink some tea yay <laughs>